Howdy and Frank Show. American Horror Story. I'm not sure exactly what season it's in now. But um, as far as... Uh, it's it, it's always a, a new theme every single season. They did the Coven, which is about witches. Yeah. Asylum, which is obviously about an asylum. And uh, this season, it's Freak Show. And Naomi Grossman, who plays Pepper, is the only character they actually carried over from um, the last season, Asylum, into Freak Show. And uh, is she here yet? Oh. Pepper's not here yet? Oh. Surprise, surprise, Pepper can only take the slow lane. Oh, Pepper. Well, she plays one of the pinheads yeah. in the freak show. Right. <laughs> she has what that, this, the, was a uh, micro... Says, they, they describe her as, uh, Pepper is the gremlinish microcephalic woman. Why don't you look up that? Because I was going to ask her when they're saying, okay... Pepper, the character, a, mic- a gremlinish microcephalic woman. Is that something you go, got it, I got- nailed it. As an actress, I've done that. I know that. Right. I'm totally going to be this woman. Or do you have to research what that is and then Yeah, when you go to, to the audition, was there anybody who really was? Yeah. And then you have to go in there after them and you're not, and you have to act like them? Or do you go in? Because you know That they- would be tough to do. You feel like a total ass. A lot of... Like, some casting directors can sort of see, you don't have to go in full bore, like, you don't have to, be like, go in, shave your head for the audition, like, because they can't see, you know, they really Some need people to, do, though. They want to own it. They just bust in just like that. And just do it in case, so that you don't give the casting directors any sort of, any time to go, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I see it. So, Eric, what is the definition of that, microcephalic? Microcephaly, I guess, is a condition in which the size of your head is significantly smaller than it should be. You have the opposite. You have macro. Yeah. Ma- macrocephaly. Yeah. Because your head is way too big for your body. Is that what is big for the body? Or <laughs> the, you have normal facial features, but your head is tiny with like a with a normal nose on it. It just says that there is a standard size. There is an average size of a head, y- your size and age. And it's significantly smaller. Oh, okay, that's why when you go to the pediatrician, the the guy measures your head. Yeah, they to see put it on the forehead. You, to see where you are. And so I remember, you know, my mom was worried because I had a gigantic head. That, um, and the, she said that she was worried because the the doctor measured and then measured again oh. and then measured again. Then like called somebody and and they and he came in right? and then he measured <laughs> and then they looked at the other side of the tape because they thought maybe it's the wrong side of the tape they were using and then they measured again. That would make like, you a little nervous. Okay, uh, what's, uh, is, is there something wrong? My like, baby. Well, if he grows to fit his head, he'll be seven foot four. <laughs> Mm. So I, I was told that story talking about family BS. I mean, I don't know if that, uh, that that's true though. But going, you know what? You're going to be big and strong someday. You're going to be seven foot four. So I thought I was I'm destined for the NBA. So right. I just didn't care. Yeah, just like, I, waiting on your spurt. Yeah, waiting on my spurt. I'm just going to be playing basketball and getting chicks pregnant. <laughs> that's my future. Uh, didn't have to work too hard. I'm but I wonder if Naomi. I mean, she's uh, just still not here yet. I mean, obviously traffic in LA, but if. Uh, she always had a small head and knew that I can I can do this. I, yeah. can, I can just be that small headed. Because how do you shrink a head? I don't know. It's, this is what I'm thinking to do about. do the like, role like, if it's a small headed person. If Like when you watch, when you really look at um, the Brad Pitt movie, Benjamin Buttons. I, just I never did see that. Oh, Frank, it's so good. It's really, really good. Say what you will about Brad Pitt. It's He's so good in it. And it's so good. And just like that. I don't know how they do it. They make him small when... Well, I guess on the show Freak Show, American Horror Story Freak Show, they have a two-headed girl as well, so and they are able to do that. Yeah, that's true. The actress plays Dot, and then the other head. Mm-hmm. What's the other head's name? See, they could have gotten Brittany and Abigail, though. <laughs> re- well, why not? Why, Actually, I think, if, if I I think some actress. of the people, they got the smallest woman in the world, an Indian woman. Right. Uh, who played Mon, Mon Petit. Yeah. Uh, she was, she's real, and... She's the smallest woman in the world. That was yeah. her first She's acting She's adorable, game. yeah. And so why not? If I'm Brittany and Abigail and I'm the two-headed girl that TLC's been following since my birth, I think that's what I would... I mean, I think they're teachers, but that's what I would do. I would go into that showbiz. Why not? There's, I, mean, I don't know how much... You go into a freak show, because that's why all these people are... Know. It's based in, you know, the the 50s or whatever, and so that's the shows that you had. This is... Yeah. The freak show would come to town. Have you been to a freak... You've been to a freak show? No, I've been to a freak viewing. It wasn't really a show. It was at the fair. I don't think they have those people at the fair anymore. Freak shows are gone, right? Maybe there's just too much on 
TV? Um, or you're like, oh, that's not going to sell. I mean, the, the the small freak show where it's just a guy sitting in a chair, and then you walk through the tent, and there's a there's a fence around him, or just a, a half wall, and so you're all just walking around, and it's like, so you get like the 360 of the guy, and then you mm-hmm. walk right back out the tent, and this guy had elephantiasis of the feet, right. So he just had just a giant foot. Oh, uh, they were enormous. But one foot had two toes on it, and the other foot had like a big toe and like the three other toes. But the toes were huge too. I mean, his the, the foot that had two toes on it was so it was like two second toes. Okay, I was going to ask you. And they you. were huge. So two big, like two. Is Naomi here? Get her in here. Naomi, come on, Pepper. <laughs> Get on in here. Because when I started watching American Horror Story Freak Show, I thought that that wasn't an actress. I thought they actually just got her and yeah, had her on. Because they, they they found her and they just had her playing the role. There she is. How you doing? Oh, oh my goodness! Really calling for me. I know we were supposed we were talking about. Horror I was Story saying, does so Pepper excited. always have to drive in the slow lane to get right? here? <laughs> <laughs> on the short look at, bus. Look at Pepper, you're so beautiful, oh, thank Naomi. You. you know, for radio. <laughs> No, for real. <laughs> Got all ready for radio. Look at us. I know, right? Loving the show. Yay! And the character, obviously, is the only character that they've ever carried over because they do different themes every season. So you're on, on Asylum, they're introduced to Pepper, and they're like, let's do Freak Show and bring her along with us. Yeah. And they gave you a boyfriend or a husband in this A one. husband. It's for keeps. <laughs> When you went, because we were talking about before you got in here. So when you went for your audition, mm-hmm. and you read obviously you read about the character and who and who Pepper was. Did you go? How'd you? I never you, read about Pepper and who she was. I never read a script actually until this season. So all of Asylum, I was just going with whatever they gave me, which was often just you know a page or two. It was really like whatever like you know lines I had to learn were, which were. Totally monosyllabic. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know? oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it'd be like pepper peas, and I'd be like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, do it, it every day, day. <laughs> nine, ten times at least. Did Did they ever say, you know, you, you're not peeing right? You, you, you <laughs> pepper got, would not pee that can way. We, can we, can we take it, that was way <laughs> I'm very method. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of preparation. I'm about to do some more preparation later after I have this water. She's got a scene to do later. <laughs> So there's only two episodes left, but I think that when they left off, it was telling the backstory of Pepper, which you never really got. I mean, other characters haven't really had that much backstory yet about how you met and how you even got to where you were. It, 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 it was kind odd. of epic. It really was because of this character that I think that everyone got close to when you said doesn't really have that many lines or so, mm-hmm. for some reason everyone's just drawn to this character. Mm-hmm. So when you're out on the street. Do people like, hey, Pepper? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, now it's Naomi, or even better, yeah. Ms. Grossman. Ms. Oh, Grossman. Oh, yeah. yeah, you've made it. <laughs> you've made it. So when you're out to dinner, I suppose, the waiter comes up, he's like, Pepper? <laughs> and he's got the pepper. He's just seeing if like, it's you. Oh, he's you like, know, is it really her? Because that's a lot of makeup. I like salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I saw this special the other day about uh, the makeup and, and the process. How long does it take to put on the makeup? About two and a half to three hours. <sighs> And yeah. there's, there's teeth too, right? Yeah, there's teeth, yeah. hands, teeth, I mean, hands, nose, brow, ears, uh, fat suit. Do you feel the transformation happening with every piece that goes on? Like, I usually fall asleep for most of it. I mean, it's three hours yeah. and <laughs> probably early in the morning, right? Just like this, exactly. So oh. no, I don't feel a thing. I wake up and I'm paper. Did, was it the fir- when they did it for the first time and you and you open your eyes? <laughs> you're like, oh. Whoa, that's amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's totally unrecognizable. Right. You know? It is unrecognizable. And uh, you wear your hair short now. Has it always been short? No. Be- I had a little bob. I had like the same haircut my entire life. Yeah. And now I look like this. And did you I'm have so to- glad this is radio. It's in a really awkward <laughs> I, stage see, right I now. I love it. But did, did you have to shave? Did they give you a skull cap for pepper? Or did you have to shave your head? Well, for a while they oh, okay. did. And you're like, like uh, hell uh, with that. No, they were like to hell with that. Oh, <laughs> oh so you're like, so you I were was... asleep and you woke up and they shaved your head. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, you should have fallen asleep in the makeup. <laughs> you should have never woken okay, up. Okay, so this wasn't a choice where you're like, no, I'm just gonna do it. It's well, just... it was a choice because they said, w- would you like to do this? And <laughs> I felt no? enough pressure to do it. You know. Yeah. I mean, it, they're makeup professionals. They're trying to get the best. I'm kind of jealous. Know. Like that just seems. Seems easy to me. Like oh, you, got, it you is. just go like, mm-hmm, put a little stuff in it. You're done. Oh, I'm done. You're done. You do your eye yeah, makeup. I have and no excuse for being late today, other than the say the fact that they gave me the wrong time. Oh, but anyway, that's all right. Yeah, but yeah, other than that, I I did wake up five minutes before I left. Somebody's getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could have anybody in the world over for dinner, who would it be? Oh, 
Uh, Lily Tomlin. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's probably, yeah, I mean. Makes sense. Have you met her yet? Yes, I have once. Uh, were you? We all, didn't have dinner, and I'm I'm still waiting. Where, so, but, where were you though when you ran to Lily oh, Tomlin? I went to a um like a comedy festival. You called the operator. Yeah. Like, is this <laughs> Lily Tomlin? Oh, yeah. What is that? No way. <laughs> were you? Because I mean, I have I have idols too, and I I feel and they always joke about oh we'll get so and so in here, and I'm like I don't know that I want that. I'm, I would be afraid because of where you put somebody, and then if you meet them, and you're like. Crap. Is that like one of your most treasured memories, meeting Lily Tomlin? No. What is your most treasured memory? Oh, God. These are, you, I needed to be prepared for those. Most treasured me- I mean, the last two years have been pretty, been pretty epic. Great. Yeah. Um, uh, in high school, I lived in Argentina. That's a treasured memory. Nice. Uh, uh, taking my one of my solo shows to the Edinburgh Festival is a treasured memory. Yeah. Um, How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? <laughs> We're really good. You're all good? You're yeah. all good? Sweet. That's Although awesome. I don't like what she's done with her hair. <laughs> I don't care for it. That, that's something my mom would say. When you were in Argentina, were you there for your family's work, or were you just there for... Oh, you have to see the show. Oh, I do? Yeah. I yeah. Okay. No, that's you gotta, another you one of my... Up. Right. It, 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 Okay. It is a <laughs> great I show, and I, I didn't, I wasn't on the first couple seasons. Oh no, I, got, I meant my one woman show. show. Oh, your one woman show. I was yeah. right. the, the one that the you show. took to the to the festival. Yeah, exactly. I got. Where do I see this? Oh, well, I need to reproduce it. Somebody listening <laughs> has to want to put it back up on stage because I already did it, and you know, producing theater is a hard, kind of arduous. Thankless well, what was it called? Job, okay. And I don't want to do it. I know I've really sold it. To <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it, but if you want to see it, somebody call and know. produce this know. thing because I don't want to do it. No, I'm just saying. Uh, you the, did the first the time. Big you did work it all. is done, and I all. did it all myself. Yes. Oh my god. But hey, you know this is how I'm here. I mean, That's indirectly, true. right? You know what I mean. But I had to put something out there for Ryan Murphy and or the Pirates that be. But you still had to the audition, wanna, right? Yeah. Did, yes, did, did, I now, did. Was it like the normal but, audition where there's uh, there's a waiting area for people who are auditioning for the same part? Full of little people. That's all it was? Yeah, that's not like every audition. Did you audition. think it was a joke? <laughs> a joke? Like when you walked in, you're like... You mean like Ashton Kutcher's going to jump yeah, out and be like, like this, oh, Wait, Because oh, ca- it didn't call for little people, right? I mean, they had the little people well, on the show. Well, actually, Mon yes. Petite. No, my particular... Well, but remember, this was back for Asylum. I didn't actually audition oh, for Freak that's Show. that's right. That's right. Yeah. And for that, yes, they were looking for little people. And I'm small. I'm petite. Right. I'm an extra small. You know, but I... You don't, but yeah, you don't... I wear I a size like, zero two. <laughs> but that's it. Like, I don't have to be... Specially fitted. Yeah, exactly. It's my ass. Eight. Uh, well, it depends on the cut. I don't know. It's a gap. <laughs> <laughs> Old baby. <laughs> right. So when you auditioned the first time around, did you even have an idea of what this character really Other was? Other than being really small? No. That's it. Nothing. So you never looked up, because uh, it, says, it says here the description of the character. Well, I did uh, look it up eventually. I've been living with this for two years. So, but I mean, like, yes, I know the word go, you're about to say. Because some people like go in what? going, I'm going to go in full bore and just be the character when I get there. But, right, yeah. but I didn't even know that. Wow. You That's know, because crazy. then, you know, this show is so secretive. Yeah. That would basically tell every agent and manager and actor or, who, you know, whomever gets these, you know, breakdowns or whatever, what. The show. Yeah. American Horror Story is up to. So, no, they kept it so secretive. Literally, I would, they would transport me from makeup to the set. And by the way, this is on a studio lot. Like, there's maybe a couple tourists that could right. see me, but otherwise, it's very protected. They would transport me with a burqa on. You feel like. <laughs> They didn't want anybody to see me. Yeah, a woman in a burqa on a hollow <laughs> on a set. No one's gonna notice her. What's happening? No, literally, oh. it was like I was Michael Jackson, I was like say, yeah. you know, on a golf cart, <laughs> right? And you know, tourists would be like pointing. It's it's Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Pepper. <laughs> the show that is. the show airs American Horror Story, a uh, uh, freak show airs. On Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. on FX. There's only two episodes left in this season. And uh, I'm not sure about this, but you guys signed up for a, a, a season after this? Yes, indeed. It's so seasons. secretive she doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, because it, it, it is absolutely great cast. And I like the fact that, that there's a new theme every single time and a new show. And you the, dressed as, he dressed as, tw- uh, what, Twisty for? Uh, yeah, I was Twisty for oh, cool. uh, Halloween. Oh, and, uh, cra- yeah. yeah, I have to show her that picture. Yeah. I mean, it was dead on. Love the show. It's terrifying. Uh, are you big on Twitter? Yes. 
I, I, I didn't get time to tweet you. Oh, we'll but, tweet uh, after. Yeah, I will. Okay. Uh, at Naomi W. Grossman, if you want to follow uh, her on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. And if you ever get that one woman show yeah, going wanna, up yeah, again, okay. I want to see tell, it. Tell your mother I said hello since you guys have such a great <laughs> <Yes>. relationship. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to take a break. Come right back. We're Heidi and Frank.